Feature Friday. The freshest. <laughs> <laughs> Mama Moo's back, and this is their song. Where are we, where are we now? Yeah, it's, it's a proper what? comeback, isn't it? It's a proper. Yeah, it's proper, proper. It's like full on, full on deal, bro. Oh, go on, let's go watch. I'm so Stars excited. With nails. <laughs> no, Juasa's hands. I, I can tell it's Juasa. You know why? Is it, is it on, mate? Yes. Oh. <laughs> I such a guess it was who I said. Hey, I just know nails. her hands, yeah. Because I love, I look at her for inspo. No subtitles. What happened to my subtitles? So you found the lyrics? You got the lyrics? Yeah, I got the lyrics, uh, yeah, ingenious. Okay, cool, cool, so cool. She, she starts saying, it was beautiful and dazzling. I cried and laughed with excitement and pain. I was thankful. I didn't want to let go. Countless nights, but only a few spent... Quarreling. Quarreling. Qu quarreling. Quarreling. What the hell? Do you, what the hell does that mean? Qu qu like, you know when you have a quarrel, it's like fighting, like discuss, like having a discussion. The act. Oh, a quarrel. A qu qu I don't know how to say it. Qu quarrel. Qu quarrel. Yeah. <laughs> I think and, that's how you say. It. I don't know. And unable to sleep. Okay. 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 <laughs> I love it. I love her voice. Her voice is so cool. Oh wow. Nice shoot. <gasps> Jesus, she looks angelical. Oh, I adore this. I mean, pause. You got a highlight. I love uh, ballads with Mama Moo. I just adore that they've got it really like obviously they've got such beautiful colored color in their voices. So many different textures that they really come to life in a ballad and then having it surf like this with like this ethereal angelic and like heartbroken uh, look is so good yeah it's so great it puts me in your, in your feels I, I was gonna say i think one of my favorite things that mama moves us apart from uh you know the dancing and they have a lot of latin influence stuff uh, it's their ballads i they're agree genuinely <laughs> very very well made pieces they're they're just so I don't know. They're so genuine in the feel, in the emotion. They're so nice. I Plus love they're them. they're world class singers. Yes. That's a great shot. She's tiny. I love that. Like vulnerable look. That's gorgeous. Nice. Well done. Aww. Well done, yes. Pause. Oh, I mean. Oh my god, and can we have a moment for this shot? Well, apart from this, I love that suit I wanted, but this one, wait. Like, look at her, she looks absolutely gorgeous. Also, Lusa, I don't know, it looks like one of those apocalyptic shots. Like the walking dead? Well, you know, I, I think that's but that's the state you're left when you're heartbroken, right? And like that, like survival mode, Tell right? Me, yeah. So like, and you always want to like isolate yourself completely. Like run away from everything and isolate yourself completely from everything so around this is around mentally you. what I was telling you. Like uh, it's stripping you away from all the things that, yeah. that uh, may not be the most important right now. Yeah. But self-preservation. Exactly. So surviving mode. Yeah. And uh, so, yeah, I just love that contrast imagery wise and like uh, the t-shirts and no makeup look to the absolutely glamorous and high life at the same time. It's really cool because at the same time you have to carry on with your life, right? So you, you can't completely strip away everything. But there, there's also that genuine necessity to be vulnerable and take care of your own cocoon kind of thing i mean it would be really interesting to see how you guys are interpreting kind of like the images of course the lyrics i was, I was just about to look at them now um and by the way I, the reason why i said uh, well done to mumbio or whoever uh, arranged the rap there it's because especially in ballads that's my least favorite type of rap but it's not a rap though it's like it, it was it was very sing-songy but with speech quality. Yes, so it it, it relied more on rhythmical value That's rather right. than uh, being a rap. I agree. So I agree. it's 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 really well done. It it's like that. That's how it should be done in ballads. It mm. simply provides an extra a, a extra layer of rhythmicality and uh, and uh, cadent value, but not a rapping section. Yeah. Maybe we will have one further on. I don't. Um, I don't think it requires it. Um, but this is the thing with some groups, right? It's like, because yeah. you have rappers, 
yeah, have to true. have a rap in there, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, agree. so win in the in the pre-chorus, which was like I was definitely happy and smiled. Where are we now? And then Sola and Huasa come in and I say, I met you a several seasons past. Maybe I'm wandering somewhere. Where are we now? Where are we now? Where are we now? One day on a long trip. And then Mumbio, the, the, the rhythmical bit, is talking about where we're going. Somewhere will you take me? Or as the wind blows, just let it flow. How far have you come? Where are you? And then uh, Mumbio and Huasa are just going to come on here. And then they're going to say, on and on, we're on the road. I ran out of breath. Everything we did together was like a great drama. No, 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 we, no, 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 now we know. Good memories, is there an end somewhere? So it could also be, you know, the, again, this is why I, I love to read the comments and do let us know how you're interpreting the song because perhaps they have spoken about it. Mm. Um, but I also Maybe they like... they took part in the making, uh, of producing or writing of the, the, the song itself? Sure, it could also be friendships. It doesn't just have to be a love interest, That's but right. it, it's also very... Yeah, it, it's interesting how uh, yeah how everyone's brain kind of goes to different Absolutely. things. Absolutely, yeah? but I think what what is very obvious in 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 the chord progression and uh, melody and visual representation of it without the lyricism is the the heartbrokenness of it all, right? Like the the, yeah, the being vulnerability, broken, yeah, yeah, and the the delicacy of of this emotional state, regardless of what it is that caused it. Right. Mm. Bloody hell, what a shot. Oh. <laughs> they look like fairies. So interesting, Ooh, man. What a beautiful shot. Very textures. Okay, I want that tattoo in my life. I want those stars in my hands. I want them, they look so cool. Okay, moving on. Alright, yeah. Oh, I adore it. That's brilliant. <laughs> I mean, and Sola is undeniably attractive. That's so awesome, that bit with That's the light there. What the fuck? I love it. That's what they shine at the most. Nice. Oh my god, okay, I'm obsessed. I want to play this song and repeat yeah. until I get, uh, until I die. Kid, you know, I think this might be one of my favorite Mamamoo ballads. Me too, I think so too. Oh, what? look. W A W. Maybe that's the name of the new album? Oh, I love Solar's Top. It's really cute. Oh, where are we now? Oh. <laughs> but it needs an it needs an end. But maybe it's where are we? Who knows? I mean, props to absolutely everybody involved in this production. It's just so well thought through, you know? Very. Look at that cinematography. It's absolutely fantastic. Ah, oh, they're so cool, dude. They really kill it every single time. Every comeback is just absolutely fantastic. But it's certainly interesting that they decided to go... Uh, with a, with a slower one coming back from uh, the previous one was uh... Linga Linga Travel their their uh, their e mini album called Travel right which is the had... one with like Brazilian funk they yeah. had bloody uh, uh, everything yeah 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 that was pretty cool Aya Aya that's it right so coming back from that Linga 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 coming from this it's uh, it's an interesting evolution but I think it's one of the things that they certainly shine at a lot I think this is there if 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 there was a moment for me that really won me over with Mama Moo sound wise as a whole as a group it must have been definitely their ballad work and like their harmonies and their layers and how they work together vocally they're so harmonious so yeah this is definitely one of my favorite sounds perhaps this is the pre-release i don't know i would love to know more about it i try not to do as much research so i can learn through you guys and also then sort of the spectacle of the first time is still here um but yeah let us know what your thoughts about it and maybe what else we should know about this comeback that's right